We all know Wisconsinites love their old fashions, but how much? Well, over half of all the brandy that Corbell's makes is sent to the Badger State. But I think the softness of the brandy uh, pairs nicely with the sweetness of the Wisconsin old fashioned. In 2020, 58% of brandy bottles Corbell made were sent to Wisconsin. Now you can take your love for brandy to a whole new level with the board game Brandyland, a playoff of Candyland. It comes from the local marketing brand, Drink Wisconsin Blee. Started on bar napkins and then it just grew from that into the board that we have now. It's not just a drinking game. It embodies Midwest culture like the tell your folks I says hey card. And so you have to call someone's a player's mom just to say hello. It costs $50 and you have it until April 5th to order it. Go to tmj4.com to learn how. But backing up, how did Wisconsin get to love brandy and old fashioned so much? There is the 1893 story about the Corbell brothers bringing brandy to the Chicago World's Fair, but local cocktail historian Jeanette Hurt said that's not the reason. It was gradual, but two things played a big part. One was in 1947, when 30,000 barrels of brandy came flooding into Wisconsin. So all of this really good brandy came into our state in one big gosh. Secondly, people began to choose good brandy over cheap whiskey with the help of some clever Corbell marketing. And it went something like for a nickel more and worth it, which played on our thrifty sensibilities. And now nearly 60% of all Corbell brandy sent to Wisconsin. If you do have a few old fashions while playing the board game, make sure to have a safe way to get home. In Milwaukee, James Grow, TMJ4 News.